Let's start off with some updates. All but one of the holes are gone now. There's no sign of them ever having been there anymore. Dead animals are still a regular thing. And the tenant in the bungalow completely lost his mind. The tenant was an older man but seemed to be in good shape both mentally and physically. But a month after that thing killed his dog, I received a call from the tenants in the house that he was shooting his gun inside of the bungalow. The cops ended up being called and he was taken from the premises, wound up being put in a home. He has been diagnosed with dementia. He did a lot of damage to the bungalow, bullet holes, writing on the wall, including with poop. I'm oddly convinced it's not all of his own and rigged all the windows with DIY makeshift traps. Hunting that thing had consumed his life since I last saw him. He claims that thing was living in the attic and the basement. There is no attic or basement. And would regularly mock him. His family moved out most of his stuff, but left me with some of his possessions, including a few guns. He gave me the paperwork so they are now in my name. A few chairs, hunting gear, and a lot of lamps. That pretty much catches you up on the events until yesterday, and now. I hope this post isn't too disorganized. I'm writing the events of yesterday and today without taking any time to think things through and process everything that has occurred. But here I go. I showed up yesterday and visited with the tenants in the house. They were as friendly and generous as ever. They even gave me next month's rent already and offered me to come over for dinner. But unfortunately, this is actually a business trip. I need to repair the bungalow so that it can be rented again. Helpful as always, the man offered to help and I initially refused. But then, he offered some of his good quality herbs while we work. I could not refuse. We spent all night last night cleaning the walls. We got a lot done and things were uneventful. He let me know he disarmed all the traps and told me about how the poor man spiraled after I had last seen him. At the end of the night, he offered me to come over to dinner again and offered to watch some scary movies to celebrate Halloween, but I need to get this work done so I can get back to my work on Monday. Today, I awoke to the sound of scratching and footsteps, neither of which had a source. Dead cat on the doorstep. It's less creepy now and more of a nuisance. I wasn't able to celebrate the holiday, unfortunately, but I did fix all the flooring and boards the previous tenant had shot up. I occasionally heard things I could not find a source for and occasionally found myself wondering if things were where I left them. It's night now and I keep hearing noises, constantly, above me, below me, in the room with me, but nothing to cause them. I think it's that damn thing. It's here now. I am sure of it. I don't know what it wants, but it won't leave me alone. I found a shotgun in the stuff my former tenant's family left me. I'm considering going out there to hunt that damn thing. I think I'm going to call him or her Samuel. Yeah, it's Halloween, so why the hell not, Samuel? Don't judge me, damn it. Well, that last bit there, I went a little off the rails a bit. I tried to delete it, but I must have typed it again. No, someone else must be in here with me, typing when I'm not looking. Sam, maybe? Nah, that's crazy. It makes no sense whatsoever. All that scratching is definitely getting to me. I can't seem to delete it. It just keeps getting typed again. So many strange things have happened here, and not just in the bungalow. It's like when I moved the way, something strange moved in. No, um, that's not right either. There's a rational explanation for all of this. I just don't know what it is. Stop that damn scratching! I didn't type that either, but it does accurately represent how I'm feeling at the moment. I know I'm alone in here. I've checked repeatedly, and there's no one or thing here. But that scratching won't stop, and someone keeps typing while I'm not looking. I don't believe in the supernatural. This can all be explained. But so many strange things. The typing, the scratching, Sam, the graves in the woods. Mm. 
I've been staring at that last sentence for the last five minutes now. I meant to write holes, but it says graves. I deleted it and retyped it several times, spelling it out as I did it. H-O-L-E-S. But I kept getting graves. Am I losing it? I'm going to have a drink and calm down now. I'll type more when I'm calm and maybe that scratching has stopped. There is nothing supernatural. There is nothing supernatural. There is nothing supernatural. That cheating whore. I found my chair with that damn lamp on top of her. That is my chair and he can't have her. Is the last grave for me? I shot that damn lamp and threw the cheating chair into the dark of the forest. I took the bulb out of that bastard lamp and planned to bury him with whatever gift Sam brings me in the morning. Stop scratching, Sam! My clothes were making scratching sounds, so I drowned them in the toilet with the barracuda. Damn it. The chair. She called the cops on me. Stupid fucking loose chair. I hear the sirens. I see lights flashing. This is my property. I won't let them have it. I must go. Must get rid of trespassers. <laughs>